Megan's at the pumpkin patch. I'm at a pumpkin patch. <laughs> that was some years ago. Oof. All right. Let's just get some stuff happening here. All right. Oh, gosh darn it. What? Excuse my language. <laughs> Easy there. <laughs> Kids listen to this. This is a family show. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it shouldn't be. No. I'm not judging you, but if you are having kids listen to this show. <laughs> <laughs> then you're way cooler than my parents. Preach. Yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> then your kids are probably living their best lives. <laughs> friends and welcome to the activity continues podcast we are your hosts i'm amy and i'm megan thanks for joining us again uh this week we're doing things a little differently though than we normally do mm -hmm. yeah last week we talked about this a little bit mm -hmm. yesterday well today is monday mm -hmm. the 19th as we're recording this and you won't hear this until um friday friday the 20 what is that Second. third third is third, what i said 23rd okay. <laughs> numbers numbers and um yesterday megan and i and a couple of other friends mm -hmm. went to see a psychic which we, I think we had sure mentioned did. it finally happened yep there were no hiccups on the way ex unless you want to count stopping at caribou and having to wait like 40 minutes for oh my god i a legit pumpkin like latte Amy sent me a message because she went in because the drive through was really busy. And we were like, you know what? Let's work smarter, not harder. That's right. If we go in, it'll take less time. Yep. And then it was like, she wasn't coming out because I was in the car with my son because we were dropping him off at his grandparents. And I hear you're not supposed to leave kids in cars. So I stayed I've in heard. the car with him. Yeah. Um, and so I'm like, where? And of course, I had to give him my phone so he could watch airplanes taking off. So I oh, had nothing funny. to do. Oh, funny. And I'm just like, where is Amy? <laughs> I, did she get lost? And then I guess our drinks got lost because I was like, are they like milking the cows? Yeah. Or, like, what is taking so long? Yeah, I texted Megan and I'm like, I think they're squeezing the pumpkins. Because mm -hmm, I got a pumpkin spice latte because yeah. I am a basic bitch. <laughs> basic bitch. Yeah, basic. Yeah, basic. So, um. Yeah, so it's taken a while, and and mine came out right away. But then I'm so I'm standing there, and I'm like, you know, still sticking my head like in the window yeah. area, so they don't think I got yeah. what I needed and I should be out of there. And they handed put something else up in the in the whatever oh, no. on the counter, and they said uh, something something blah blah blah, and I'm like, what is that? And she read it again, and I said, oh, okay, that's not me. This other girl came and picked it up, and she said, what are you waiting for? And I said. Um, a large, hot pumpkin latte. Spice latte, yep. And she goes, oh, that must have gotten lost or something. I'm really sorry. I'll make it for you right now. If she hadn't said anything, if I hadn't been like, what is that? Basically yeah. twiddling my thumbs at yeah. the thing, I would have been there all fucking day. I'd still and be we there. would have missed the psychic. I know. Um, so whatever. I yeah. don't know. Caribou in whatever city we were in. Somewhere yeah, between here heights. and Iowa. <laughs> Actually, it was somewhere between here and Wisconsin. Okay. Because <laughs> it was e it was east. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, we have reached a new low if I'm the one giving the directions. Yes. Yeah. Because well, you drive more than I do. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. And you know that area, sort of. Uh, so, sort of, yeah. I don't. I felt like I was on a road trip to another state. <laughs> and, like, like, they I have the keeps... signs coming yeah, up for, for like food and gas mm -hmm. coming up i'm like we, we should have brought snacks we're on a road trip anyway. and he's like should we stop and like buy a bunch of snacks like we're 10 year olds with a hundred dollars 
Souvenirs. Like, we want souvenirs. Yes, we should. Even though we live a block away from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come and on. Like, it was a good. What are you doing? This is a good 30 minutes. Time you've been here. Yeah. Okay. That We're not including the caribou time. Right. Right. Not that to, would be an hour. But, yeah. Add an hour to it. So then. long. I know. I know. And my son had my phone. So what am I supposed to do? Just like <laughs> stare at the window? Like. <laughs> entertain myself what is this 1850 right oh, should i God. get should i get out some yarn and maybe darn a sock i don't yeah. know <laughs> okay <laughs> you don't darn a sock with yarn but okay i thought you did <laughs> no it's a special it's a special uh thread that's oh. really thick okay that yeah i suppose if you had a fully wool sock that had been knitted before you could fix it with okay with well. a, with knitting but no, my grandma taught me how to darn a sock. Did she? Yep. Yeah. It nice. was, uh, it's weird. You basically make material uh -huh. by by um, like sewing lines one way and then again cross the other oh, way. Yeah. It's weird. So is it just like sewing a sock then? Yeah, but you don't sew like the two pieces together because usually there's a hole in the yeah. sock. Yeah. So you're you're not going to sew the two pieces together so that it's like this. Oh, you're gonna, you're yeah. making more material in between. Interesting. Yeah. Look at that. I learned something new about darning socks that I did that. not know this morning. Good. Oh, Glad I could help. This, is, this has been a good It pays thing. to be friends with old people. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> so anyway, we thought that because we all have a lot of shit going on right now that um, I did not cover an episode of The Dead Files for today. Mm -hmm. So we are not doing that. We are just mm -hmm. going to talk about the psychic and mm -hmm. what we experienced and mm -hmm. um kind of what it was like and mm -hmm. some stuff if anything comes up surrounding that stories yes. around that or whatever yes um we will talk about that i do want to talk about a couple of things podcast related okay um patreon we've talked about that before being a little bit of a nightmare mm -hmm. so i started us a coffee account ko-fi and it's basically it's it's very similar to patreon you can do tiers you know how patreon had those different mm -hmm. tiers i just i didn't i just kept it all the same but it is five dollars okay a month um but they don't take any they don't take any of it like mm -hmm. patreon takes like 12 percent, and then when you want to get paid out you have to pay out the company that that um that transfers the money from patreon to your so there's another cut so there's another cut yeah so everybody mm -hmm. needs their little piece, piece of, of the pie yep Thanks. so <laughs> so it's nice that that uh, coffee doesn't take any of the money because there's enough gouged anyway do you have a ghost no i have a cat oh <laughs> okay wow. um okay um Milestones. I don't think we have any real milestones, although we are very close to 1,000 um, Instagram yes. followers. So close. And we would be there, except that recently people have been dropping off. And I don't know if it's – sometimes it's because, like, the person who followed you is not actually a real person. They're a robot or whatever. Oh. And mm -hmm. they get caught. And so they're mm – -hmm account goes away. disabled yeah yeah and when i uh, i do have an app that tells me when people unfollow me mm -hmm. but it's kind of jacked up that and it doesn't sad. it's not always real yeah because usually when i see that somebody unfollowed us i will go mm -hmm. and return the favor because mm -hmm. i feel like it's a real dick move to follow somebody just to get them to follow you and then they and then, and then unfollow, unfollow them. Yeah. So if they do that to us, then I just okay. unfollow them too. Good. However, so that you little, can play that game. That's right. I'm a petty bitch. Word. So um You're a petty bitch and I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Two bitches. I love it. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, we would have had if we hadn't lost a few, but and like I said, they might have all been bots. I don't know. But Anyway, our partner. I would hope so because real yeah. people would not unfollow us. Well, I would hope not, but a couple of them were podcasts, and I'm like, <gasps> the fuck? Yeah. I, you know, if a podcast follows us, I will follow them back. I yeah. don't care if it's related. I don't care. Yeah. You know, I just want to help support. We should support each other. 
Right. And then for them to turn around and unfollow us? Not, not that. cool, dude. Not cool at all. No. So. Bra, what you doing? Yeah. No, oh, man. So anyway, one podcast that does follow us and will not ne- probably never unfollow us. No. Because they're awesome. Totes. Is The Nightcap. And yep. we've talked about this one before. Mm-hmm. Creepy, creepy voice. Yes. <laughs> um, so it, don't listen before bed. Yeah. Because eek. Yeah, you might it might freak you a little bit. Yeah. Um, they're on hiatus right now, but they're coming back in October. Mm-hmm. And um, I just wanted to uh, give them a little shout out and say this is a good time for you to go and catch up on older episodes before their new season starts. I was just going to say bit. perfect time to catch up while yep. they... Yeah. Take a little break. Yeah. And then now we are allowed to talk about the topic for our Halloween special, which is this collab with mm-hmm. the Boo Pod mm-hmm. Network, the other people in the Boo Pod Network, which the Nightcap is one of them. And so if you saw any of our social medias, you know that we are covering. Do you want to say it, Megan? The Bridgewater Triangle. Um, yep. I sent my cousin a message. She lives in Massachusetts. Oh, for the last twenty years. Wow. She lives in Boston. Wow. And I said, "Hey, have you heard of the Bridgewater Triangle?" And she said, "No." <gasps> and I said, "What have you been doing with your life?" Are you kidding? No. Oh my God. I'm like, Crazy. I know. Well, yeah, it's this spot area in Massachusetts that mm-hmm. is crazy with activity Active. it's sort of like it's kind of like uh the bermuda triangle but over land and not water it's land yeah and but things don't go missing or anything but it no has, but there's a lot of spooky shit yeah they a lot have, of spooky there's a shit. lot of paranormal stuff there UFOs. is ufos ufos there are cryptids there's mm-hmm. like big big feet <laughs> big foot big foots big foots big, big feet big big and feetsies. and oh little what, feeties yeah. Do we want to say what which one we're covering, or should we keep that a secret? Uh, let's keep it a secret okay. for now. Okay. Maybe we can we'll maybe talk it. about it next week or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's going to be sometime in the middle of October. Mm-hmm. Because P.S. We're still researching it. Yeah. We. So mm-hmm. it's going to be a little bit before we're ready to talk about it. But it There's... is creepy. It's and it has another aspect to it that I think you and I are both going to find. Okay. Very interesting, potentially maddening. Great. Mm-hmm. Groovy. Great. Which reminds me, and this will give it away a little bit. I heard today that Adnan Syed yes. is free. Yes. Thank yep. the fuck. Yes, he is. Oh my God. Yes, he is free after 23 years of being behind bars. He was a child. I know. I know. He grew up mm-hmm. in prison. His. Because of yes. whatever, whether it's conspiracy or whether mm-hmm. it's lying or whether it's just shitty police work or yeah. shitty lawyer work. We know it's shitty lawyer work. Yeah. Um, but I want to know what the evidence is because I, I haven't heard that yet. I know there's some extra evidence that would have yeah. cleared him if they had used it. Allowed it. Yeah. Yeah. His, yeah. his lawyer was a piece of shit. And I can say that because she's passed on now. She can't hear me. Oh, maybe she can. <laughs> we nope. just came from the psychic, Amy. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I just, the content warning I have on this is just that, you know, we talk about dead yeah, people. People yeah. have died. So. Yeah. Oh, one last thing in yeah. case you guys missed it at the top. The next few episodes are not going to be about the dead files. We're changing it up a little bit because like Amy said, we have a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. going on and so mm-hmm. we just between that and um interviews and life we just don't have time to do it all so yep. the next few episodes at least the next this one and the following one will not be recaps correct but it's still gonna be hilarious so yeah. we're still gonna have a good time we always have a good time yeah so the next episode after this one um the intent the hope is that it will be a interview an interview with Lance, who was not the, Bass, not not Lance Bance. Not, what did I say? Lance Bance. Lance Bance. Lance, Lance Bance. Last Bance. Last chance. Last Bance. Oh. <laughs> the last Bance to die. 
<laughs> oh, I'm glad we got a song in early. You, it's cute that if you think that's the only song I'll be doing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. So it'll be the next interview will be Lance, yes. um, who was uh, in the episode I believe I covered a couple ones ago with the um, the house was haunted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one with the ghosts. I think I saw that one. Yeah, you know that it was, the, and there was a murder. I think and then, hell in the heartland. It yes. was called. And was that in Concrete, Washington? Oh, I didn't put the city on my notes. Yes. Yes. Yeah, no, so. no, 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 no. That's the one that was in Missouri. He's the one that has the three girls. One that was in Missouri, and we thought, and we said Mississippi. Oh, that's right. But it was he had the three girls. Yeah. Who and he, they interviewed all three of them. Yeah. So yes, we'll be yeah. talking to him. Um, so it'll be really exciting because he's been on the show obviously so he can kind of talk to us about his experience on the show and hopefully give us some inside scoop until what they talk about yeah. that they cut because I would yeah I would be really curious about that because I'd heard from someone else that there was like many many hours mm -hmm. of reveal yes and they you know they cut it all down to like five seven minutes right. or something right so uh i would like to know other stuff and mm -hmm. i would like to know other things that maybe amy suggested for mm -hmm. them to do right. uh and how things are going now and yeah. all of that yeah. so so stay tuned yeah. for some insider experience insider scoop yep so yep. it'll be it very be exciting week. i'm really excited for that yeah i am too i am so. too That'll be, so, if it's not the next episode, it'll be the next, I mean, the next, if it's not next week, it'll be the next episode. Mm -hmm. There's a chance we're going to have to take a little break, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. We got some family shit going on that we yes, don't know we what's do. going to happen. So, yep. anyway. We're just going day by day. Plugging All along. Right. Flying so by the seat of our pants. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> just kidding. <I> am. <laughs> just kidding. I've got pants on. <laughs> okay, good. I'm wearing leggings, but. Those count. Today I drink milk because I've had heartburn all fucking day. Oh, that <clears throat> sucks. Yeah, and I was at my desk at work just fucking drinking Pepto-Bismol like it's oh. water. Does Pepto-Bismol help you for heartburn? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Doesn't It doesn't do anything for me. I have so to take uh, Prilosec or... Uh, OTC. Yeah. Right, Which stands for over the counter. Over the counter. You... Listen, it's not every day you get the genius mind that is me. And then I also <laughs> got boost because I wanted something chocolatey. Oh. oh. I was gonna say that looked like a Yoohoo. You you know I've never had Yoohoo. I don't think I have either. It's like an old folks drink. But so is boost. <laughs> To crack mom drinks. I mean, I'm literally drinking milk and boost. I don't know how much older you want me to drink. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Um, I always used to think it was funny in college. We used to go to the McDonald's down by the U. Mm -hmm. And there were always old people there at lunchtime who would order a uh, coffee and a cheeseburger. And I was like, that is a typical old person mm -hmm. meal is a coffee and a cheeseburger. And now, occasionally, when we go out to dinner or lunch, um, especially if it's on the weekend and it's brunchy time, Greg will order coffee. <laughs> and then I'm like, S he'll go, I can't decide if I'm getting lunch or breakfast. And I'm like, well, you got coffee. That's a breakfast thing. It's breakfast. Yeah. And he will get a burger. A cheeseburger. <laughs> and so I tease him all the time about. Full circle. I'm like, you, you're definitely older, older than me, even though he's younger than me. You're older than me if you're ordering coffee and a cheeseburger. Um, how's his mom doing? She, uh, well, we went to see her last night. Mm -hmm. I didn't talk to you after that. You right? did. I did. You said she wanted you to be your getaway driver. Yes, she wanted me. She wants to get out of there. And um, yeah, she wants me to, she asked if I would drive her out of there. Were and I like, said, sure. Yeah, Phyllis. Yeah. I'll do it. I'm being really innovative, and I just combined the boost <gasps> with my milk. Look at you. Almost looks like a rebel. Well, that's what I am when I combine them. Oh, I I'm see. I'm a rebel. See what I, I did? see. Here we go. Full circle, Here everybody. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> all right. Oh should we boy. get started oh so we can? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, sure. Keep yeah, all this comedy I'm gold in the show? 
Yeah. Um, okay, so talking about the psychic, Amy, what did you expect going in? Well, I really didn't know what to expect because mm -hmm. for some reason I had in my head that a psychic was somebody who like would tell you your future mm -hmm. and I didn't really know I mean sure what what's in my future but I wasn't thinking that she was going to be like connecting us mm -hmm. to loved ones and I yeah. didn't I so I didn't I was going to prepare a bunch of questions and then I didn't mm -hmm. and it's my own damn fault for not looking you know not looking into it or asking Amy is the one other Amy is the one who set us set this whole thing up for us mm -hmm. and you know I certainly could have asked her you know what to expect but I didn't and so I didn't I had no idea and so I was a little bit mm -hmm. floored I in a wonder, good way. I wonder if she's I wonder if we're calling her wrong like she i think she's more of a medium well that's what i was psychic. thinking i was like the the questions that i had you know if that i originally had in my head were like oh the I, and i looked at him and i was like now that's more like for a medium not for mm -hmm. a psychic and so i i went in thinking i didn't have any questions Little and it turns out i know. did have questions yes and so did you yeah so what what so, were you expecting did you I know more? honestly had no expectations because mm -hmm. i wanted to go in with no preconceived notions yeah so, yeah I went in, you know, I didn't go in thinking that I would believe everything she said. Mm -hmm. I went in kind of like a skeptic, open mind. Like, sure. I'm not going to go in there and everything she says, I'm just going to be like, oh my God, that is so accurate. <laughs> even if it's like not even on the same realm. Right. So I went in there, you know, hoping that some stuff would be accurate, but I was not going in there. Like I said, I didn't have any expectations. Okay. Cool. Other than to just enjoy it and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did you find the most surprising? What did I find the most surprising? I think it was, I don't know if it was surprising so much as interesting, but well, maybe this is the next one. I'm going to save that for the next one. Okay. The next question. <laughs> um. I guess just how normal the room looked. <laughs> yeah, like it literally, the lights were dim, but uh -huh. there was some really comfortable chairs, of, yeah. you know, pictures on the wall. There was like these glass balls with kind of hanging fairies in them. Like it was very normal looking. Well, and, and it's in like a suburban area. Yeah, like a little, like a little. And it's like strip almost a mall. strip mall. Yeah, yeah. And it's the kind of like, I want to say it's like 90s built strip mm -hmm. mall type of thing where it's like yes. office. It's not a mall that you walk no. through, but it's like office, 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 all connected. Yes. Yeah. And yes. it's all, they're all like that Menards wood. Yep. And it, it just felt, it was also new. Like yeah. I would have expected um, the a psychic to be in like an old Victorian mansion yes. or something, you know, <laughs> and it would seem so weird for it to be in yes. like, it was so suburban. modern. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't mean modern, like electricity, like obviously, no. you know, I know she was going to have electricity, <laughs> did have but electricity. it just, yeah. Like it was, you know, and maybe this is just the media and, you know, yeah. Hollywood kind of imparting their ideas on us on what a, a psychic or medium should be. But <clears throat> it yeah. was so like you walked in and it was a really pretty um office that she yep. had yeah, and she really had cute. water and jewelry for sale a beautiful fountain crystals mm -hmm. everywhere like mm -hmm. so welcoming you just walked in and you felt safe and you yeah. felt welcome yes. and you know i it wasn't like oh my god what have i gotten myself into <laughs> This is yeah. just going to be a malarkey. No, it was, it was, and she was this, oh my gosh, she was so sweet. She was. She and was even really when sweet. she was doing the reading, she was very, her voice was very soft mm -hmm. and warm mm -hmm. and, you know, welcoming and yeah. <clears throat> just very soothing almost. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. She was really sweet. I liked her a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Um, what did you find the most unsettling? Yeah, that's the, I, I came up with these questions and that's the one I didn't answer. 
Okay. Um, I'll answer it. Okay. You think of an answer. Okay. So she would, before she would, you know, do a reading, she would kind of pause and like look away. And you could like see that she was hearing something. Uh -huh. And then she'd be like, okay and like she was saying okay to somebody else yeah. like oh okay and then do the reading so got it that I i'll replay that yes yes <laughs> yeah. like that to me was very like again i don't know what i expected <laughs> you know for her to be like oh, oh, oh. But <laughs> she didn't do that. um and then i will say she did tell us all we light up a room which Oh, I did. You, yeah, we're you, goners. We're it's it. That's it for us. Um, I missed that. I mean, I know she said it. Now that you say uh, that, I remember her saying it, but it did not strike me that way oh at the time. My, instantly, I was like, "And we're dead. We're yeah. all dead." Well, the first thing she said, well, not the first, but the, once we started, mm -hmm. and we were all sitting there, and you know, hanging on her every word, she said that this is not our first lifetime together yes. all of us yes and like one of the women we had just met had 10 seconds met before. before we sat down yeah she and, was running late yeah and she literally came in and like a minute later we started the reading yeah and and then she, this woman says that we are we're all here for together for a reason mm -hmm. and that this is not our first lifetime and this mm -hmm. is not our first lifetime together right which Kind blew of blew my mind. Kind of blew my mind. And then Amy said, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Amy. she said that you and I are soul sisters. Yes, she did say that. Which I thought was and really And that cool. didn't surprise me, yeah. honestly. No, that doesn't surprise me either. No, because no. we've clicked from, from day one. Day one. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. So we, we must have been Thelma and Louise in another life or something. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> so that was really, yeah, it was, yeah. It was just... And I asked her, um, you know, how do you get your messages? Like, mm -hmm. are they visual? Like, do you see somebody talking to you? Do you hear it? Do you, you know, how does it? And she said it's kind of telepathic, which makes sense because that's when she would like look off to the side and, yeah. you know, get those messages and then relay them. So, and she did say that sometimes she said, I, I'm looking off to the side because sometimes I do see something. Yeah. She's seeing mm -hmm. somebody. Um, there. Yeah. So did you know who was going to join us spiritually? I was hoping my dad's grandma would because I, when she passed, it Your was dad's really- dad's mom, you mean? Yeah, my dad's mom. What yeah. did I say? Okay. Grandma. No, my, That's okay. my dad's mom. Yeah. When she passed, it was really hard for me because I was in the Middle East and it was- five days before her 90th birthday and i really think she planned it that way oh. because everybody was there except me i mean oh. all of her kids yeah. grandkids they'd yeah. all cousins they'd all come for this really big party that she was having mm -hmm. that we were you know throwing for her right. but i was in the middle east and so that was tough because yeah. you know you look back as a kid and I was just such a, you know, I, you don't want to spend time with your grandparents, mm -hmm. you know, and now I look back and I just wish, I wish I would have spent every, every minute I could have with her because yeah. you don't, you don't realize that one day they'll be gone. Yeah. And people will tell you that, but it, and it, and you hear it, it but matter. it doesn't, doesn't do anything you until know, it and, happens. And I know, you know, she was 90, so it's not like she flipped her vet. <laughs> You know, but it's still, I, you know, I feel guilty when, when I miss her because it's like how, like, you know, she lived a great life. She had amazing kids, you know, grandkids up the wazoo, great grandkids at this point, you know, and it's just like, you know, I feel bad when I miss her because she was old, but she was just such an amazing woman. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to cry. That's all right. <laughs> So I was hoping she visited. Um, well, she said she was there. She said right? she was she there. She just was kind of in the background watching. Yes. yes, which to me was the person that she said was really prominent was very shocking to me because she said it was my mom's mom. Yeah. Mm. 
who passed away before my parents got married. And my parents got married a long time ago. Wow. They've been married almost 50 years. And so she, when she said that, that yeah. to me was really surprising. But then she followed it up with, yep. <laughs> the reason she's around you so much is she was your mother in another life. Yeah. Isn't that, that nuts? That is nuts. And so then Amy and I were, were, and I didn't even think to ask her this. I wish I would have, but Amy and I were driving. And for those of you who don't know, I'm adopted. And so I wondered if my, the reason I was put with my mom is because her mom was my mom in another life. And so mm -hmm. did she make that happen from the other side? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so it was, that was something interesting that I wish I would have thought of. Yeah. What about you? Um, I, once I realized that, um, that she was going to be bringing in mm -hmm. or, or, or uh, you know, opening up to allowing uh, our loved ones to come, I, I was pretty sure my dad was going to show up. Yeah. Because my dad, um, he, his whole life had told me that when he dies, he's going to find a way to talk to me and tell me what it's like on the other side. I love that. Yeah. And he passed away in uh, 2019 mm -hmm. and I never, I have not, I don't have any mm, evidence or anything of him showing right. up. Right. And just well, that you're aware of that I'm aware that of. you've acknowledged. Right. 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 But like, she did never mention. did I see anything where I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that was my dad. That's nah, your dad. Like, yep. you know? Yeah. I, I never had anything like that. I just never. And, and in fact, maybe a month or two ago, I actually kind of like was laying in bed trying to sleep and doing a meditation thing. And I kind of like said, not out loud, but in my head, uh, well, dad, I guess there, there wasn't a way for you to come say anything to me because I didn't Mm -hmm. I, I haven't, haven't seen, seen anything. anything. I haven't heard yeah. anything. I, maybe there isn't a way, or maybe you forgot, or <laughs> maybe you're busy, or whatever. You're busy. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's real busy. Playing craps over there. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh, he'd be doing a vaudeville show or something like that. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I was not surprised that he showed up. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that she he showed up without any prompting from mm -hmm. me you know um yep. i didn't i didn't say a word as right. jenny was going around the circle and saying your grandmother's here and your grandmother's mm -hmm. here and your aunt whatever whatever is here mm -hmm. and then and then we talked about a bunch of other stuff and then she yep. looked at me and she said i keep getting this father, father figure, figure for figure. you did your father pass and i said yes and she said yep he's here and and then he must have been talking to her because she started laughing and she's like, oh my God, he's relentless. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, and that he's a, he has a quirky sense of humor and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So, I mean, she. And the thing that got me about that is when she mentioned like his transition was hard yes. because I remember it was. Yes. It was And how really would she hard. know that? Right. Right. And, and. So that's the... what kind of gave me a little bit of credence. Yeah. With other, like, to, to be fair, I really don't feel like anything she said to me mm -hmm. resonated. Okay. I, I don't feel like... How about your hand tingling? That, yeah, okay, that that resonated. But uh, nothing else, like, you know, it, it, I didn't get her when she said something. I wasn't like, oh, my God, that's a... Like, yes, I completely agree with mm. that. Um. So that's just me. But yeah. when she said that about you, uh -huh. about your dad, yeah. and then later when she said, I'm seeing a lot of kids around you, I yeah. instantly was like, yes, because you used to be a preschool teacher. I used to be a preschool teacher. And I, I like, am yeah. not a kid yep. person right now. No, I don't, there's not. no children around me. Mm -hmm. I've met Megan's kid once and that was yesterday. <laughs> no. And yeah. I just, you know, I don't know any kids. Mm -hmm. And, but I used to be a preschool teacher. And then when she said there's all these kids around me, I was like, oh my God, that was a lifetime that's, ago. Yeah. But instantly, that's when I was like, she's got Amy because, yeah, yeah that those two things, I was like, the, that is spot on for Amy. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and then when she, she said was... she saw a dog around me. I was like, yeah. And I'm like, are you sure that's not my dog? <laughs> I know that literally anybody else in the circle, they're all dog people. Yeah. I, give me a cat. I don't yeah. want a dog. Yeah. 
we did talk a lot about dogs because the other two girls have had a lot of yeah, dog oh, questions. Oh, Amy and Kelly, they both have amazing dogs. They breed mm -hmm. their dogs. Um, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Ethically. Yeah. They don't like they they have they are they they vet out the people who are taking their puppies yeah. and so yeah when she they're very very into dogs yeah yeah for sure so yeah I'm like can we get a cat maybe that's not a dog, <laughs> not a dog. <laughs> well and the other thing back to my dad for a sec the sorry, one thing I'm that sorry, no I no no I didn't I just I'm saying it just I wanted to make sure I noted this that um when she said you were really good at reading him um when he before he passed he had a stroke we mm -hmm. think of some kind and he was nonverbal and mm -hmm. so for the last month or so before he died <clears throat> he was nonverbal and there were times when i would go see him and he would look at me and we'd lock eyes and I felt like he was saying, get me out of here. I just want to go. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like I think I mentioned last week, he used to say, I'm ready. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm ready mm -hmm. to go whenever it's time to go. I'm not scared. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go whenever. Yeah. Yeah. And I think when he was a little more um, not able to take care of himself, he was in a wheelchair and he couldn't speak, which if you ever knew my dad, he yeah. needed to be the center of attention and talking all the time. Well, for Pete's and, sake, he had a radio show and yeah, a TV well, show. TV show and he and he ran a senior theater and yeah, you know, he was just he, that kind of person. He wasn't one to sit on the sidelines and right. let other people do stuff. Right. No, From no. From what no, I know, I only met right. him. I think I honestly met him that one time. Oh, just we the one time to, we went to brunch? Yep, yeah, we went to brunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I thought that was interesting that she said that um, that I read him well mm -hmm. and helped make his transition easier, which Good. which was nice. That was nice yeah. to hear. See, but then she. Oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, and then I was shocked that um, one of my aunts showed up. I know. Because I. That, I if you, I could have given you a list of 30 people that I think would have shown up in that room she wasn't and she wouldn't have been on the list mm -hmm. and she was there. Yeah. Cause she knew stuff about her and like, you know how Greg, the skeptic, Greg, my husband said, skeptic, um, the SG day for sure. as I was, <laughs> SG, as I was leaving, he's like, well, have fun. I'm sure she spent all day Googling you. And you know, and then when, she, you know, the my dad thing happened and I was like, well, she certainly could have found that if she found my Facebook page. Although my last name on Facebook is different than my mm -hmm. dad's last name. Mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't have been too hard to figure it out. But there is nowhere in any of my social media, about any Margaret. of my blog, mm -mm. anything that I didn't even she know would have her. known about. Yeah, that she would have known. I mean, not that aunt. I know about your entire family, but if the, I feel like if this was somebody that could be found by Googling, we would have spoken about her yeah. in the eight years that we've been friends, seven right. years we've been friends. Right, right. So that was a yeah. surprise. I was like, what? And it, and it couldn't have been a different aunt or something because she. I, I only have the one aunt mm -hmm. on my mom's side. I have an aunt mm -hmm. on my dad's side who passed away, but she's very she, different. And yeah, and she said your mom's yep, side. Yeah, she said it was on my mom's side. Yep. So, so I, think, I, I think, here's what I think about her. I think she is accurate. Mm -hmm. I think she is real. I, I believe what she says. Mm -hmm. But I think she's, it, how do I say this? I don't think she can read everybody all the time. And so I think that she has things that she says to people to make them feel like they're getting something. Okay. And I yeah. don't think she's doing it to to pull the wool over somebody's eyes right. or to be shady you know mm -hmm. like the fox sister she's not trying to pull something yeah. <laughs> but i think she wants people to feel um like they got something sure and so um because like i said you were spot on me not so much yeah. the only thing that resonated was the carpal the tingly hands yeah she said and then um, i was an empath but yeah she said we're all empaths, we're all empaths. and we're all healers yeah and that um, and she said that you would feel uh, tingling in your hands when there's somebody near you Which, that needs to be healed. Okay. So that's actually, now that you bring that up. So at work today, um, um, I have two coworkers who are beefing a little bit. Uh -huh. um, 
And the other one is just dealing with some stuff that we've talked about. And I got to work <clears throat> and it started to tingle mm. in my, le- in my, my pinky, my middle finger started tingling. See, I get that too. It had been like now nothing. Like it's totally normal. Uh-huh. But I got to work and it was it was tingling. Wow. So I just sent out some of the green energy yep. that she said because she said green is healing. Yep. Yep. And blue was seeing, I think. Yeah. Which is interesting because almost every piece of clothing I own is blue. Yeah. Even yesterday I was wearing a blue shirt. Yeah, you were. So so yeah. I, I mean, I don't think she's fake. I, I honestly mm-hmm. believe she's not. Mm-hmm. But I think she can just. I don't know. I don't know how if I'm saying this right because I don't want to offend anybody. I feel like her gift is not a light switch. You can't just sure. turn it off and on. You can't just well, make it happen. And there might be, there might be, uh, something like. <clears throat> Maybe without you knowing it, you may have been blocking her a little bit. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. especially once she says one thing that doesn't ring true, you're like, do- and then yes. maybe you kind of you know, shut down. Did like something, and not on purpose. My mom's I'm not mom, saying, like, yeah. To me, that, and again, I'm not saying she's not, she's not right because she mm-hmm. might be. Yeah. I have nothing to say she's not. Yeah. But, you know, and, and I was talking to my mom about it and because I sent her the recording because she wanted to listen to it. It was her uh-huh. mom. And, yeah, you know, her mom's been gone for 50 years. She's lived more of her life without her mom than with her mom. Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure she, you know, wanted that information. And I yeah. was like, did, you know, did your, did you, was that true? Was your mom kind of a spitfire? And she was like, you know, I don't really remember her being that way. Mm. Hmm. But then Jenny also said that she, she wasn't allowed to show it too ah yeah you know do you remember she said that she wasn't allowed to really express herself so yeah yeah i'm sort of contradicting myself and i don't mean to be yeah well that's good i mean whatever you feel is yeah fine i enjoyed it and then okay 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 Okay. so (laughs) at the end (laughs) this okay mm, this did really resonate with me okay when we were doing the you know when she had us close our eyes and do that exercise and yeah so she had us close our eyes and she was asking us questions that we knew. Like, well, how do you spell ketchup? Mm-hmm. And what's 18 minus Actually, nine? there's a few different ways to spell ketchup. I was like, that was a strange word. To how choose. did you spell it? I spelled it K-E-T-C-H-U-P. Perfect. Yeah. That's how but you spell it. There's other ways. I know. But cat soup, for example. Cat soup. Um, and then she's like, um, so think about those questions and really logical questions that we would know and then she said okay now think about the name of your spirit of one of your spirit guides and Mm -hmm. instantly without hesitation stacy came through the Mm -hmm. name stacy like it it was just intuitive there was stacy yep and then she said and what's the message that you get and then i got you are enough oh like that like without Again, no hesitation. Just like- so. I after I was listening to it today, and I heard the Stacy part again. I was it reminded me. Do you remember a couple episodes ago when you were talking about how you were scared being at home, um, and yes. you were afraid something was going to happen with your son? Somebody was going to come in the window yep. or something like that, and you were like, "Oh, I I'm going to call nine one one," and then and then you did this whole like short play about yeah. these people at the 911 place yes. and one of them her name was Stacy. Shut the fuck mm-hmm. up. I'm sure of it. I didn't go back and listen, but I'm pretty sure. So I wonder if you really do have a Stacy that's right next to you following you around all the time and that's why that's front of mind. Me oh my god, I didn't even Okay, well now I got goosebumps. Right now. <laughs> and and then I don't remember the name of the other girl that Stacy in your mm-hmm. story was in talking story, to. Yeah. yeah. I don't rem- I didn't even remember Stacy. So But maybe maybe that whoever that is is another. Okay, guy. literal chills right it's now. Literal cool. chills. Yeah. yeah. Cuz it didn't dawn on me then yesterday. Mm-hmm. But when I was listening to the recording again, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the name wow. she used." Oh. <gasps> Crazy. Mhm. 
so yeah I did really like that part and then so she had us do um what's her spirit guide saying Mm -hmm. and instantly I heard (laughs) come back and I started laughing (laughs) and so we got done and we opened our eyes and I looked at her and I said your spirit guide is really funny (laughs) she goes why what did what happened and I said well when you said what's a message for my spirit guide and I said instantly I got come back I said he's doing business for you yeah yeah (laughs) <laughs> so I couldn't I, I I I think I was having too much trouble I was forcing myself to try and feel mm-hmm. something and mm-hmm. and I couldn't and then she moved on to the next question before mm-hmm. I felt like oh yeah. maybe it's coming and then yep. she moved on to the next question so I didn't get any of that with her mm-hmm. like who her guide was mm-hmm. or what they had said and I didn't get a family member that Cause she asked something about like somebody that's visiting or one of her family members, mm, the yeah. name of one of her loved ones. And I didn't get anything. No, I didn't get anything there either. And I didn't get a message from her loved one either. No, I didn't either. But yeah. That, that but other people so, did. Other people yeah, did, yeah. but not everybody, but no. Yeah. And then she was talking to Kelly and Amy who are sisters and she said, grandpa's here and I'm getting blue jays and blue jays. And right as she said that, two blue jays outside yep. flew by and landed on trees. Right outside and they the window. stayed there the rest of the time. It's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. I didn't know that birds would were yeah. doing that. Like, I didn't know that that was a mm-hmm. thing. Like, she mm-hmm. kept saying, there's cardinals everywhere in this I, yep. room. They're all so, over. Yeah. And I didn't know what that meant. And I guess they, it, they're message bringers, yep. right? So anytime you see a cardinal, if it's not expected... Mm-hmm. I mean, when do you sit there and be like, oh, it's noon, time for the cardinals, for the cardinals. you know, but it's uh, it's supposedly mm-hmm. somebody, a loved one who's passed away, mm-hmm. who's come back to check on you. Mm-hmm. So that's why anytime I see cardinals, I'm always like, oh, my grandma's mm-hmm. here, you know, thinking of me. And yeah. now I feel like I've, you know, ignored my other grandma. <laughs> it's just that <laughs> I didn't, didn't know, know her, her, you know, but she died before you were born. <clears throat> so, well, the, I, and she told me that my dad was a a hawk or an eagle Mm -hmm. and you know i have this little tiny dog and we have hawks and eagles in our neighborhood and i'm so scared to let her go out by herself Mm -hmm. and so i'm like well if my dad is going to show up as a hawk or an eagle he's not going to hurt my puppy he's not going to eat her and hopefully he would fight off another yeah bird of prey that would try and eat her but if a hawk or an eagle ever gets my dog, <laughs> I'll be like, Dad, come on, Alan. <gasps> oh, say what else she said about your dad in the podcast. Oh, yeah. So I, um, she said he's real proud of you for doing this and says, why did it take you so long to get started? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I say that to myself all the yeah. time. I should have done this. I should have done this day yeah. one of the pandemic, if not yeah. sooner. Yeah. But uh, it took me a while to get my shit together. I'm a day late and a dollar short for everything. It's always <laughs> it's my life. So, um, but she said, he's right there with you mm-hmm. and he loves that you're doing this. And I mentioned about how there have been times when we record and I'm editing it later and I'm like hearing a voice and I'm like, that's not Megan. That's not me. What the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. And I'll go back and I'll take that clip and I'll enhance it. And it'll, it sounds like a voice. I can't make it out. I can't yeah. tell what they're saying. And I told her that and she said, well, it's not what they're saying. It's who it is. And yeah. it's him. Yep. So Alan, please join us. Yes. Join we us. would love to hear you. <laughs> we can talk in my microphone. When I logged on today, I, I pulled my microphone out and I said, okay, dad, if you're here, talk right in here. <laughs> talk right into the microphone. You're here. Yeah, or you can go to Megan's yep. and talk in there. Mm, please stay at Amy's. <laughs> it's not that I don't want you. It's just I'm afraid of ghosts. And I know. Okay. I see that you guys, you don't. I see the irony. Okay, I know it, it's here. But here we are. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so if, I, if I hear anything strange, I will uh, yes, definitely. Now I want to go back. Some of those ones I did. Uh, like enhance and take a clip out and sent them to you via mm-hmm. 
WhatsApp or whatever. So those I could probably still find. Yeah. Um, a couple of them were John. Yes, I know there was right. one that for sure was John. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So during this recap, I have officially like contradicted myself a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cause like I said, some things I didn't believe, but some things I like the whole spirit guide thing that yeah. was instantaneous. Like yeah. I, there was, Stacy came through loud and so clear. Crazy. And now I've got to go back and listen to that because back. if that is true, I want to say it was like two episodes ago. Yeah, it. Well, I remember it because John was out and yep. I was. I remember I was sitting on my couch with my phone in my hand. Like, when do I dial nine one one? Yeah, when when they're coming in? When yep. is it? So, yep. I don't know. That is in. Same. Yeah. Well, it was a, it was a fun day. I would go back fun. and do it again. Oh yeah. I would love I to would do too. it again. And in fact, I mentioned to my friend Heather that I would like to go if she wanted to go with me. I'll go again. She will probably start bawling the second she gets in the room. Probably. We but, did. Yeah. Honestly, before she, before she even really started, we sat down. Yeah. And she was like, "This can get emotional." And poo. Yeah. We all teared up. I'm like, "Why is there Kleenex everywhere?" And then pretty soon, I'm like. <laughs> there's my face is all wet you're like oh yeah this is why <laughs> it was just a weird like overwhelming feel mm -hmm. and it wasn't sad it was no it was actually it felt kind of like almost elation it was yeah. like a like a, um like you said it's a, you know safe place and mm -hmm. surrounded by you know like my cool amazing women yeah and it just i just felt safe. elevated i guess yeah and, and it maybe weird. it's because we're all empaths. Yeah, that could be. That we, because and and one thing she said that did resonate with me. I'm sorry, I'm so contradicting myself. But as we're talking, <laughs> you just like, needed to talk coming, it out. Yeah. So one thing she really said, and I felt this way before. Being an empath, we take on others' emotions. Yeah. And I'll be sitting there feeling very anxious. Yep. Like, what's going on? What do I have to worry about? What is going wrong with me? And there's nothing going wrong. It's not you. Mm -hmm. And it's not me. Yeah. And so I was sitting with a coworker today. We were having lunch and she was like, oh, I'm just, I'm really anxious today. And I said, okay, well, when I went yesterday, she said, you know, I'm an empath. And she, my coworker's like, I am too. And I said, okay, so what you need to do, you need to ask yourself, is this mine? Mm -hmm. Or is it somebody else's? Mm -hmm. Because I believe so many times I've had somebody else's anxiety. Yep. yep. But I've thought it's mine. And I'm sitting there going, okay, what haven't I done? Okay, my bills are all paid. I'm missing something. I'm missing, I'm missing something. What am I? Mm -hmm. I'm not in school. I don't have homework. I'm just, oh my God, I don't have appointments. You know, and you're just sitting there losing your shit. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, that wasn't me. You were sucking it off somebody, of somebody else's. Else. Yep. She compared us to sponges and yep. like, you know, when we're, if you think about a dry sponge and you pour water on them, it just expands. And if you think about an empath and we just take people's emotions in, mm -hmm. eventually there's nowhere else for that to go. Yeah. And I thought it was interesting that she said, you take on other people's anxiety mm -hmm. and I take on other people's pain and sadness. Yes. And she said that I hold it in my neck and yes, I, I, my neck is a problem it has been for a while but when my dad died the night that my dad died mm -hmm. i went to sleep before mm -hmm. he died he, mm -hmm. he died at like four o'clock in the morning i went to sleep in bed just like normal woke up at six to feed the dogs and i had a text from jackie my dad's wife saying that he had passed away at four o'clock or whatever it was yeah and that morning when i woke up my neck was so sore my neck and shoulders and I felt that pain for, I'm not exaggerating, at least three months. Wow. And I was like, well, I, I'm, I'm wondering if that was Jackie's pain that mm -hmm. I was feeling. I also, my first thought too is not only her, but maybe your dad's pain at the end yeah. of not being able to communicate, of yeah. not being able to be himself and be that outgoing you know, bubbly person that he mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. And she said, my back is where my pain is. You guys, yep. I go to a chiropractor every yep. two weeks for back pain. Yep. She was spot on with that. Yeah. 
Damn it. She was good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was, that was it, really interesting. I, and I think that's really good for both of us to remember and any other empaths out mm -hmm. there listening. Remember, is this mine? Yes. Or is this somebody else's? Somebody else's. And there's, you, there's a way to learn how to sort of block that. Mm -hmm. You can still feel empathy for somebody, but don't, don't let it consume it you as don't, yours. Yes. Don't absorb it. Yeah. Kind of think of it maybe like a, the duck, the feathers of a duck. Yeah, the roll. water touches you, and it rolls, <laughs> it rolls off of right you. Out. Yeah, you feel those emotions. You can acknowledge them, mm -hmm. but let them roll away. Yeah, it's you not guys, your pain to bear. Own. We have our own shit to bear. That's we right. have our own. Everybody has their own issues, their own feelings, their own anxieties, insecurities, anger, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, we don't need to add to it. Right. Well, and you and I are both also Libras. Yes. And we both are, so we're both always trying to balance, balance things and everybody make sure else. everything's happy, everybody's happy Fix and everything's everybody. fixed. Yep. Yep. And so that's part of it. Like, oh, if I take that pain away, then they're not going to feel pain anymore. Yep. And, they'll be, they'll know, be fixed. They'll be yep. balanced. Yep. And then I've done so, my job. But that is very dangerous. Not, I shouldn't say dangerous. It's very. But it's emotionally dangerous. Not you healthy. Can be overwhelmed. It's not you healthy. You can get for overwhelmed. To do that. Yeah. So yeah. don't do that. Yeah. You can acknowledge other, you know, you can lead the horse to water. You can't make a drink. <laughs> yeah. You can acknowledge that other people have issues or, or whatever they have, but if they don't want to address them, you can't do that for no. them. No, I've had to learn that the hard way. It is. It is hard. I know I've done that my whole life. <gasps> but yeah, I would a hundred percent go back. She, yeah. I gave her a hug at the end. Yeah, like, you did. I, you? I was like, can I give you a hug? It reminds me of <laughs> when I was a long time ago, I I got into a car accident and the first car accident I've ever been in my entire life oh. and the only one I've ever been in my entire life. The okay. policeman got there and I was like, can I have a hug? And ah. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, can I'm just sobbing. Can I have a hug? And he's just like <laughs> awkward, like one-handed Pat, hug. little pat, pat, like, pat. On the you can tell he didn't have kids. Like, <laughs> okay, this okay. is weird. <laughs> So that's what she was not like that. She was no. she gave a real she was good very hug. warm. She yeah, was very warm and she was like, I would love that. And I'm like, no, oh. I would love that. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a good experience. I really it enjoyed was. it. I yeah. really enjoyed it. I think it'd be fun to do a one on one too. But I like the idea of the um, group of the group and and like you know, like we talked about this one person that we that showed up two seconds before we started yep. and by the end of the day we did go out afterwards and have little snacks and mm -hmm. and chit chat about kind of decompress about what we saw and what we felt and um you know walked away best friends so yeah. we're in a yeah. group chat you guys yeah we're basically best friends now yeah <clears throat> so and that was i think part of that was just that sort of really being vulnerable and that mm -hmm. kind of openness and rawness. I mean, we mm -hmm. were all crying and, yep. you know, it was just, oops, I banged my microphone. Don't bang it. Oh, she bangs. She bangs. <laughs> Ooh, baby, when she moves, she moves. Um, anyways, <laughs> who doesn't love a little Ricky Martin? That's right. Um, yes. So I, at the end of the day, I would go back talking it through. I've realized there was more that I got out of it than I initially thought. Okay. But again, it's just, there's, there's so much that happens and we were there, you guys, two and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. It started at one and we got done at three 30. Yep. Yeah. I bet she was just drained. She was probably super drained <clears throat> because she has <throat> also was not tip top shape. She had broken her, her leg or her ankle, her ankle, like her ankle? the day before, a couple or days before. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. she was, Yeah. And some of those so, exercises we learned how to do too, the mm -hmm. leaning forward or the Which was, holding something yes. and you lean forward if it's yes and then back if it's no, your body but just your does body it. your body does it and you're it, not, it not, did it. Yeah. Like we did a couple of things, like you would just sit there and you ask yourself a question like, you know, am I going to have a good day today? And your body will automatically lean forward or backwards. Like she passed around Mountain Dew and you asked yourself like internally, do I like this? And I leaned back and yeah. I, I don't like Mountain Dew. Yeah, I did too. It was really interesting. It was weird. She was saying that like you could do that if you want to figure out if you're like 
lactose intolerant mm-hmm. or gluten intolerant. You can mm-hmm. just actually write gluten down on a piece of paper yeah. and hold or it next an ingredient to you. if you don't, yeah. don't like yeah. And she said if you have small kids, you can do that for them mm-hmm. before you give them in a new food like you introduce new food to them like mm-hmm. will they like this mm-hmm. so i can tell you almost everything i introduce to my son it'll be a no <laughs> it's very picky right now uh, he likes pretzels oh okay Just pretzels all day long oh good well for dinner a couple nights something. he's had pretzels and animal crackers <laughs> nailing it (laughs) uh you just gotta keep them alive exactly (laughs) all right anything else well one thing i wanted to do is um you know jenny was the psychic was talking about uh how you know include my dad in the podcast yes and i've been wanting to do this for a long time anyway i just haven't really found the right time so my dad um he ended up with alzheimer's or dementia toward the end right oh he did oh i didn't know that yeah but he had been getting goofy for some time before that i mean he was always goofy he came out goofy but um (laughs) but he like even when you met him he was Mm -hmm. already like sometimes just saying weird shit that doesn't make sense you know okay yep and jackie bless her heart wrote down everything that my dad said that was funny and she okay. had this whole book of stuff that he wrote down that he Shut, thought was funny. Okay. So that's I have beautiful. I have a word document that is multi pages long mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. all of his his quotes. Mm-hmm. And I want to put them like on t shirts and shit because yeah. some of them are very funny. Yeah. So I picked out a couple, and I was Please, thinking maybe we it. could end the show. We can still do a dad joke if we want to, but no. we can end a show. I love this much better with something that an Alanism. An Alanism. That's something that my dad had said. Like I said, I've got a whole. Let's do it. I've got several pages of them. I picked out two. Okay. Number 13 is, don't make me say something I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. And then number 18 was, um, this was after receiving regular instead of decaf coffee. I'll okay. be dancing snake shit in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. So that's the kind of thing you can look forward to. <laughs> that's, I love it. Yeah. So we'll end with Alanisms. Yeah. All right. All, All right. right. I think we're good. I'm going to go listen to that episode now. And- yeah. Now I've got to figure know. out who Stacy's friend is. Stacy's coworker oh, at the nine one one dispatch center. Yeah, maybe so, that's another guide. I have. maybe that's another guide. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Stay tuned, everybody. Cool. We'll follow this up next week. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> well, thanks <laughs> right. everybody. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Activity Continues podcast. We really appreciate you giving us your ears for a bit. Please reach out if you have a suggestion for which episode of The Dead Files we should cover next, or if you have a spooky story you'd like us to share on the show. We can be reached at theactivitycontinues at gmail.com or through our website or any of our socials. Links are all in the description of the show. Please feel free to drop us a note and say hi. And join us next time when The Activity Continues. The Activity Continues is produced by me, Amy, at Collected Sounds Media and is part of the independent Collected Sounds Podcast Network. We are also proud members of the BooPod Network of super cool podcasts. Nailed it.